loving it. it's like just got done playing a game about the intersection of rock and edm and here we are uh welcome to bullets per minute uh a rhythm based boomer shooter holy shit god those like those synth arpeggios in the background so good! I've missed that like dirty grunge guitar from the late 90s and there it is, oh man. All right, let's press a button. <laughs> the first thing you see is a fucking angel with a gun screaming at you. Good shit, absolute good shit. We don't, we don't use no controller here. I mean, despite the last, all the last games I used controllers for. Yeah, we need that on. Motion blur starts off. <laughs> Cinematic is the best. Oh, I'm also exporting a video during this, so. Although, Premiere's been doing this weird thing, like, uh... I have to, uh... I've been having to... Oh, God. Game bar. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Um, I've had to... change Premiere to export only with the CPU. Because if I choose it to do hardware accelerated, it only runs on fucking QuickSync. It runs on Intel and not NVIDIA. And then it takes... It actually takes forever. It takes way too long. If I export it on the CPU only... Then it takes a decent amount of time, or it'll finish in a decent amount of time, but after like 12 hours of an export, it just slows way down. Windows, I guess, ranks the process down. I don't know. Fuck it, who cares? This doesn't matter. None of this matters. Let's play. This is on PS4. I don't know. So you can move whenever you want. That's a big ass jump. Reload is two hits? Okay. not prepared for this music to be this good. I've seen, like, this may sound really shitty, but I've played a lot of other indie games that are focused around music, and the music was just not that great. This is, this is a lot better than that, though. Oh, there's a dash. All right. Oh, and your score counts down. Okay. All right, all right.
your combo run out after a certain time? Hmm. Yeah, it's Crypt of the Necrodancer, but it's a Doom-like instead of a Zelda-like. That seems to be the case, yeah. Aww. Man, I'm already at 25 health? Huh. Okay. Spin a coin in the last room. I did try to play Overkill. It just didn't run right on my PC. I think I had some some V-Sync issues that I've I've probably since figured out. But. Let's go! I didn't expect it to be randomly generated. Or I didn't I, I actually didn't think it was a roguelike. Um, but here we are. Oh, it's not on a console till 2021? Ah. Oh, okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. I get it, I get it. Oh. Yeah, pistol has pretty short range. Uh, that I that I am uncovering. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a pert room. That hurts you both ways. Wait, no, I still have seventy-five health. Maybe it did a half hit or something. Oh, you can dash it. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, he had 88 after the first hit, all right. Ooh. Oh, hello, Burb. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're doing a little dance? You feeling good? Oh, you're the shopkeeper? All right. Man. <sighs> Guys, there's been... <sighs> 2020, while being a shit year, has been absolutely incredible for game releases. Just incredible. Ah. Uh. There's too much good shit out there. Okay, clear. Like, I, aside from just swag, which is important, it's very important, um, it seems like you probably don't want to trade keeping your combo alive for, uh, getting damaged. And sprint by holding dodge as well. Ah, thank you. Like, what is, what is score and combo good for? Because the economy of the game seems to be based around um, keys and coins. Do you get more keys and coins for playing on the beat? Ah, more coins for higher combo. Oh, okay. That makes total sense. I don't know about dashing through it. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Unless I did it wrong. Which is fully possible. Maybe even likely. Whoop! Great. Great! Great! Alright. Mmm, bit of a bug there, I guess. I'll own the falling off, but man. Yeah. <laughs>
I think they do. Yeah, it, it definitely like quantizes your gunshot, which is really nice. It makes it actually like really click in. Oh, you can turn out string stringent the beat is in settings. That's good to hear. I am playing on easy right now. So do I break combo when I... I guess doing that would probably break combo during a level two. It's taking damage or shooting off beat, it seems like. Those are the combo breaks. doing huh what a look at you oh surely nothing bad will happen here I'm guessing this is the bank yeah okay you can put in coins for later runs that makes sense interesting because Necrodancer kind of forces you to move on the beat, which is... Oh, I guess you take damage for this? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a roguelike, so that sensibility works really, really well. I guess in this, you can kind of just dodge and, and take your shots when you're confident they can hit. Oh, there's a game simulator it's called Post Void. It's not rhythm-based? It was a rogue Doom-like shooter. Okay. Well, there's also Strafe. Ooh. Quarter down. I don't know about that. Is that an item I have to activate or something? Won't fall off this time, maybe. He does it automatically on shot. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a pretty good one to get then, huh? Feels like it. Oh my god, yeah. Losing three bullets per shot? That's awesome. Maybe I can buy or open some treasures now. I have one key. That one looks better. Anything you have to take damage to get must be better. This seems bad. It seems like a bad thing, but I'm gonna get it. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I like the they show you the dodge indicators in the in the little pulse in the little like beat finder thing. That's pretty neat. 
when he leaves your when he leaves your field of view though i mean i guess you just have to like if he's behind me and it's showing me to dodge to the right is that the right way to dodge i don't know maybe it just means either way it seemed like it was just a big vertical hit I was seating half the room. Yeah, it did. It did. So. Hello again. That music, God. That's so good. Model for that boss was a Severog from Paragon. Wait, really? Still clear. People are downing the game because they are bought reuser bought assets. It's a small team and a great game, IMO. Yeah, the assets don't matter. The, the assets are unimportant. Um, the music is really, really good. And the gameplay are, or the gameplay seems to work pretty well. I'm curious to see how it'll scale up. Um, giving people indicators, like dodge indicators on the note chart is a really interesting way to do it. That uh, implies, a lot of, uh, implies a lot of scalability, which I'm into. Damn it. Yeah, it also works super well as procedural music. God! Ah, the old roguelike feeling. Got one million... One million coins, but no co no key! Alright, whatever, let's go murder. There we go, I got it this time. Uh, yeah. Okay, so R, like re reload needs to be something that's not R. You have to hit it way too often, um, and it takes button. It like takes a finger away from Waz or anything else. Um, and if you have to reload on beat, like that's that means you have to stop moving. Uh, uh, let me rebind that. I feel like that should be on like mouse or something. Yeah, it should be on like side mouse. There we go. Yeah, side mouse button feels like the perfect place for that. Space? Space bar and rebind jump. Yeah, I guess you don't really... You don't really, um... Need to jump that much. God, those, like... Just... 
powerful three chord rock shit is so good. Fuck. Does the accuracy matter at all? Aside from just like being a being a DPS problem, I guess, if you uh <laughs> You can jump offbeat. Jumping is really important. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might be the case. Cosmic Circle, thanks for the sub. Also, hey Chris, thanks for the sub. A beat filled bullet ballet? Pretty much. Pretty much, man. I'm enjoying it so far. Edmund, thank you for the sub too. I will be a real gamer dude until the end of my days. Now, this is. Definitely got Crypt of the Necro Dancer vibes. Zelda game that forced you to do stuff on the beat? No, you're right. It's uh, they did a Zelda version of Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So it all comes back to Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yeah, you're supposed to shoot on the beat. Yep. And the game the game kind of drags your bullets to the beat, too, to make it sound more in time, even if you're a little bit off. It's got that uh, Tetsuya Mizuguchi. I guess I keep mistiming my shots. I mean, the point now where I'm dropping combo and, and not really, I'm not really sure why. Okay. Keep missing this stupid freaking dodges. They're so, they're so obvious.
God. Urgh. Damn it. Rarg. Can you um the tempo like click eighth notes over quarters? I mean, you could, but that just gets uncomfortable. Ta -ta 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 like that'd be a lot of clicking. Um There are there are items that will that will have bullets shoot at that tempo though. I got one of those earlier. I like that, that two-hit reload, though. That feels really good. Tap, tap. Huh. Uh. Oh, wow. It actually spawned me back on the floor. How kind of you. Hmm. Hey, old bear. How you doing? Thank you for the sub. Oh, I thought it was plus 50 max HP. Ah, well. Need a key for this. Dang it! I haven't gotten into the library yet. What mysteries could be contained within? How many games have I played today? I guess technically this would be the fourth. If you count Ring Fit Adventure. And really, what what game is more video game than Ring Fit Adventure? Ah! I guess I assumed if you shot it, it would kill the bug and not spawn one. Boy. Okay, so if you have a higher combo, enemies will drop more coins when you kill them. I'm starting to see more coins, more coins spit out. Yeah. All right. So more more coins is good, but probably not. Probably not at the cost of taking damage, I would assume. Uh, oh, Green Miner, it's okay. No worries at all. Yeah, let's, let's go see those books. Let me get that lore. Yeah, inspiring, inspiring name, you're 100% right. The soundtrack works super, super well. Wait, this isn't the library. Yeah. You saving up coins or something? I think you missed a bunch of shrines with upgrades. I mean, maybe. I just, I don't have my eyeballs attuned for them yet, so. Oh. You might need to, uh, be a little patient, as I am a new player. Don't quite know what to look for yet. They're in almost every room. I like this. They sparkle sometimes. I noticed. Oh, I don't need you. It's interesting that they're not marked on the map. It doesn't seem. Well, this one had a dot in it. Whatever. Who cares? I just want to murder this guy. God damn it. Wow. Oops.
That was fast. Mm. I gotta focus more on dodging. I just try to... It feels really good to get all the hits in a row. <laughs> Oi. Whoa. I mean... Perfect music to fish to on Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, Shadow, one of these days I'm just gonna like... It'll just be Final Fantasy XIV, Day of the Hand Day, or Day of the Land Day, whatever. Both. Both of them. Just grind up all those jobs. can't tell like the dot moves around sometimes so I think it auto aims a little bit um, and sometimes I'll see the dot on an enemy and click and miss well, I gotta figure that out <laughs> Omnicrafter takes an eternity is that the name of it if you just have everything max level I also don't have any money so that's gonna be an issue too It'll be a slight problem Because the update for the new patch? There isn't a new patch, is there? Unless it's the most recent patch. What is it, 5.3? Oh, there's 5.35. Okay. Is it like if you kill enemies with a 4x combo, you get a coin for every enemy? Oh, it has the next relic in it. Okay. Uh, I don't have a... Wait. What? Hey, open up. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna lose half of it, like, right now. Huh. <laughs> I can't remember if I've already done the beginning of the relic. It was like the, uh, isn't it tied to the near Automata tie-in stuff? I'm pretty sure I have the relic. Uh, I just can't remember what the quest line for it was because it just kind of ended. I got my magic twig and they were like, okay, you're done. Or there was nothing else. Yeah, this is a roguelike. Call me Vex. Sure is. Single player duty where you go into Sid's memories. Oh, maybe I don't have that then. Like, the, the attack is all white, so it can cover up the dodge indicator.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so sick. Oh my god. What a perfect way to end the stage. Like, it takes the beat away and lets you sort of, like, do it yourself. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's more space bars. Already, I kind of already got that, that problem fixed. Oh, man. Oh, like, even the screen pulses a little bit. I never noticed that. Noticed that before. And, like, it gets a little brighter on every every half beat. That's so cool. And, like, of course the footsteps are in time. Of course they are. Maro Bellic, thank you for the sub. And not reloading. Pretty OP, huh? How come I've never seen somebody do that yet? Just shred out on a shotgun? Oh god, when you run, it's double time. Okay. Oh, that's one of Artyom's animations in uh, Last Light? I didn't know that. That's awesome. I didn't know that... Uh... Shields. Alright. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess that's a cool idea. Oh, boy, yeah. Let's... Challenge room. I'm ready for this. Of course I am. at the end. Would you even have to reload this gun? I mean, I guess you probably have to put shells back in it, yeah. Playing on an HDR monitor, no. No, the, uh, that is an effect. The, the crushed colors are, are part of the game, if that's what you're worried or wondering about. It's a, it's a, definitely a shader over the game. Uh, hey, run PMC. Pretty awesome name. I uh, really miss seeing you in my YouTube feeds. I'm glad to, you to find you here. Cheers and thanks. Oh, no worries, man. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. I've been uploading edited stuff to it. Um, you know, it's it's not Funhouse and it's and its intent or its reality, but... So if that's what you're looking for, maybe not so much, but... More condensed version of what you see before you. Oh, oh no. You get one every, oh, you can hold it down. Okay, ah, holy crap. Oh man, oh no, that's very good. I mean, this is just infinite combo, isn't it? All right. 
Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna clear this floor. And, uh, and hunt down some more shrines. If I can get more health, that'd be good. I do have a key. Hey, what the? Hey! What? Okay, well, shit. Here I, here I thought I was invincible. I could not tell what I was getting hit by. So, you know, there's a down downside to the chain gun, too. Just the outrageous fucking flash. Yeah, right, Razor? I couldn't see a damn thing! Who knew? Uh, yeah, also, yeah. OP gun plus rune equals hubris. Saturation seems awful. That's just the style of the game. That's how you can reuse or how you can use base assets and get some uh, get some style out of them. It's not to everybody's taste. I think it works based on the kind of game. Oh, this the soundtrack is on Spotify. Awesome. Fuck. Also, sometimes it feels like. Enemies don't take the same number of hits all the time? Maybe it's like, uh... I don't know if the game... <laughs> coin for coin. I don't know if it has, like, locational damage. I don't know if shooting them in the head does more. See, those usually take three hits. I think. I mean, the... That was three hits. Miss the bar says too far pop up. It's easy to miss. Yeah, no. There's pretty restrictive uh, range on the pistol. Valkyrie's Call. What does the art style call for semi-compression slight pixelization? It's not really pixelized. It's it's more like... It's like reducing the bit depth of the colors. So instead of like... Uh, so like take this... Take the, the gradient or the aura around the, uh, the torch. Um, if you were using like actually 16-bit color or which is like... 65 million colors or whatever, you'd have a much more gradual uh, gradient of color. This is more like 8-bit color, which is where the entire game's running at like 1440p, but the amount of colors you have is restricted down to like 128 colors. So instead of 64 million colors, where you get all these shades of like blue and brown, or sorry, red and brown, to blend between, you only have like three. You can count like maybe, well, it's maybe more like six or seven, but like you can actually count the colors coming out. Um, so that's kind of how that, it's like, it's reduced bit depth of color. That's a bit complicated. There's not really a word for it. It's, yeah. Everyone says dithering. It's not dithering. Um, dithering is something else, but it looks, it can look like that. I think, I think it's that it sounds like that. The only reason I'm being that anal about it is I remember misusing dithering once and some person on the internet, like, jumped down my throat about it. Yeah. Man, yeah. Those resulting rhythms you fall into 
Especially since there are enemies that take two shots and three shots. Really kind of like puts the reload r really cool places during the measure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Brawly. Uh, the reason they do that, they use re reduced color, color depth, is because it makes it look like 8-bit color games from the 90s. Yeah. That's what those looked like. But then again, they also designed those games around that color depth. Whereas this is a a better engine scaled back to this, or it has a uh, it has a low bit depth, uh, really low bit depth shader thrown on top of it. Oh boy! Turn this fan off. Yeah, the reload sound works perfectly, especially since it's like it's a two step reload, and it's like clack ching. That's that's everything in music, like uh, a tick tock. A wub dub, if you will. A major note and a minor note. That's the that's the essence of all rhythm. Kick snare, exactly, exactly. A lot of people liken it to heartbeats, thump thump, thump thump, or the fact that when we like most people have a dominant and a passive leg, like side of the body and leg. So when you walk. It tends, your body just naturally feels this like powerful and less powerful hit. A boom chick, if you will. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Quite, quite. That bat always drop a key. A badonk, a donk, <laughs> indeed. Hey, one one. Thanks for the prime. And Maro Bella. Oh wait, I already, I already thank you. I didn't, I didn't realize until I said it out loud again. But hey, thank you again. There's a girl on YouTube that covers Black Ops Zombies songs. Cool. It's one of the awesome things about YouTube is. Pretty much everyone does everything. Oh, the icon doesn't go away if you open it. All right. No matter what you want, somebody's doing it. Why is he smaller? Yeah. Well, I mean, that worked out. My bud had that one. What did I get? What? So I guess, I guess your, your like grids fill up with icons as you buy more upgrades. Space Asgard 2. <laughs> yeah, maybe the size is procedural? Who knows? Oh, is it space because I'm floating more? Hmm. I think that's that's actually what it is, yeah. Upgraded the shop. Oh, you get more items now? Yeah. Yeah, the, the burb is really, really good. Merchant burb. 
Yep, reunion. It's not last time. It's starting to it's starting to feel like promo to me. <laughs> you give that burb all your coins. That burb needs your coins. Just a humble merchant. Yeah, this music is so good. Tilby, what's up, man? Ryu versus Ryu? I mean, you're named after a pretty iconic game character. People shouldn't be getting that wrong, right? And also, there's multiple game characters named Ryu, so... Mind Flay? Hmm. I do like auto-aim quite a bit, but I'll try it. What does that do? I guess I just have to figure it out. You want to get this now? I don't really feel any... any uh, I feel zero, like... Capitalist twinge, uh, encouraging oh, encouraging people to buy games from indie developers. That feels good to me. Ugh, I could use some help. I guess I can go back to Burb. That's always a good idea. You can be Zenyatta in this, like actually Zenyatta. The model the same. I wouldn't think that in another game, but I would think it. I would think it in this one. I haven't unlocked any of the other characters yet. Yes, consume products. No, consume G Fuel. TM. Consume G Fuel. I don't have a 30% off deal right now, though. Sorry about that. You're just gonna have to get a 10%. Thank you, spirits. Oh, okay. Okay, so the mind play is just an AoE around you. That would probably actually really help prevent me from taking a uh, amount of damage. Oh, that's a good point, Red Turtle. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden hasn't been around for a minute. And it's not like Ryu Hayabusa has shown up in anything else. Um, I feel like Ryu might fit in with Smash Brothers, though. I could see that happening. Ooh. Perfect. Hey, Viscera Obscura. How you doing? Good evening to you. Oh, he isn't dead or alive. Yeah, you're right about that. Which is a pretty good fit. Xbox on Ninja Theory. So Ninja Theory is not Ninja Team under Tecmo, who made uh, Ninja Gaiden. So, kind of confusing, but yeah. What does the hat do? Uh, this, I think, damages enemies that get close to me. Damn it, I got stuck in the corner. Took a lot of damage, too. No bueno. Oh, yes. What is it? Heart of a dragon? Like a dragon? The next Yakuza? Ooh. Is that coming out on PC? DOA 6 came out a year ago and already has $1,000 of DLC. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how the gamers will push back against DLC, but if it's, if it's buying... Uh, ooh. 
rifle if uh if it's buying like new bikinis for your big titted uh video game ladies it's okay actually i think they complain about that too but somehow that gets a pass absolutely damage up uh oh okay the icon is just the icon and then cubes fill up the the grid okay got it oh like a dragon is a ps5 launch title Ooh. when is that coming out on um so does that have a date on pc i'm i might be okay i might be okay doing some heavy console stuff in the early days like I mean, even when the PS4 came out, PC was already kind of on point, but that's where all the exclusives are. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take this back for the boss fight. Ugh. There's no more items. Emir? Man. 13th of November for PC? That doesn't sound that bad. Um, I'm not sure, like, that, that, hmm, that, th I thought I dodged when that, uh, dashed diamond hit the middle, but I guess I didn't. Or, like, the dash was him shooting and I had to dodge it after that? Hmm. Hmm. Need to be behind something. Ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> that makes way more sense. Thank you. Oh, wait. Like a Dragon is the launch title for Series X? God, I'm getting confused, man. I The way that they announced everything this year has... has I really have such a hard time wrapping my head around exactly what the launch software for each platform is. Dash time was on both sides, yeah. A uh, jump is when it's only pointing up. Um, like, like this, really this year is actually the best year for games media to actually distill and, and collate this information. So I, I'm i sure IGN has a page with the launch software of every, of Xbox Series X and uh, PS5 on it. Nice bulleted list. I just need to... Wait, I wasn't reading that. Crap, what did that say? Critical hits deal damage over time. Okay. Yeah, E3 was nice. I mean, I... <clears throat> again, from the... From the media side of things, it's actually been great to have so many smaller media beats. It creates more interest and more and more eyeballs, and you don't try to... Ex I mean, God. How much work goes into E3? Producing trailers no one sees... Writing previews no one reads. Because there's just too much. It's like too much in one day. So, <clears throat> from a... <clears throat> from a density perspective... I'm kind of okay with it getting spread out like it has, but... From a comprehension perspective, it's it's been much more difficult. Oof. Oh, a two-legged dog? He looks like a dog. Is this the most sparse console has ever been games-wise? No, absolutely not. No, previous console launches were worse by far. The PS2 launched with almost nothing. Um, IGN have an Instagram post every two days summarizing things? Yeah, that's... I figured they would. That's like... It's it's accidentally great for, for outlets like IGN because now they have more of a role. <laughs> they actually have a job as opposed to just sort of consuming and then regurgitating the information that everyone else saw already yeah dreamcast launch was pretty shit uh it was like sonic adventure ready to rumble boxing uh i don't remember what else yeah the saturn like there there have been some really abysmal launches super nintendo had a pretty good launch n64 was not like n64 didn't launch with mario 64 I mean, that came, like, oh, like a month later, but... Oh, Sega Rally and Power Stone? Okay. Yeah, this is actually one of the better ones, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, Virtual Boy. Um, 
Wait a minute. Oh, it's under. I don't. I thought I had to get into that window for some reason. Uh, you should write a book on video game history. People already have. I might be able to write it better than uh, than other people, but no, the the world is not wanting for for people to tell you people to tell you their version of the story of video games. I mean, shit, man. There was just like a Netflix special, high score or whatever, reiterating games history in the '80s again. Yeah, Schreer did one. Of course he did. Jason Schreier lives to tell people about video games. <clears throat> yeah, King. Well, King of Kong is different. King of Kong is specifically about uh, specifically about Donkey Kong high scores. I mean, King of Kong is a really, really good movie. I can show that to people who don't give a shit about video games and they still get into it because it just hits on some pretty universal themes about competition. Oh, I have a key now. All right. Yeah, Ready Player One. You don't need a book for me about video game history. You just need Ready Player One on Blu-ray. Damn it, I want to see what this, what this hat does. I guess Billy Mitchell was 100% cleared and his scores have been re-entered or something. I don't know. It's it's pretty wild to watch. Yeah, I saw Ready Player One. Oh, a giant Draugr. Okay. Guy would not just die. Jesus Christ, that was a that was that was a slog, man. Range up, okay. Yeah, the wall attacks are nice to dodge if uh, if you grab them in time. Yeah, he was the guy from Paragon. <laughs> Yeah, the break in tempo on the big slash, so good. Not expecting much of Halloween, but I ended up getting these resi oni, resin oni horns off of Etsy that look really convincing. Put them on my cat and looked at me and her tail poofed instantly. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, we're we're trying to trying to debate whether or not we even want to try to participate in trick-or-treating. Um we can I I've been thinking about going to Best Buy and buying supplies and just making like a candy slide. 
Or maybe just setting up a folding table and getting a tray, and then we just put the candy on the tray and then slide it across, like Japanese style. So there's no there's no hand-to-hand. -hand. We can be six feet away from people. Yeah, eat the treats. So we just slingshot them right into kids' faces. Um, so I don't know. I think candy slide. It's kind of sad, yeah, but... That's that's life, man. Every, everything has changed uh, now, so... I definitely don't want kids who have been running around with a bunch of other kids running up to me that night, coughing in my face and spitting in my eye. Um, because, you know, kids are kids. I've seen a kid, like, sneeze in the middle of a, of a sentence because they just didn't know it was coming. So it's like, yeah, kids are... Kids don't have control of their faculties yet. Uh, I mean, hell, man, I'm an adult and I don't. So... Stick a bowl on a pole? Like a giant paddle? Oh, that could work. I basically want something where it's like... I feel like candy slide is the best because that means kids are not ever touching anything I interact with. I wear gloves, I put candy on the slide, it slides down into like a little basin, and then that's where they put all their germs and I don't... And then I just hose it down at the end of the night. If I if I did like a tray, then kids would touch the tray. And if I wear gloves, like I just worry that I'd at some point forget and rub my eye or something. So the trick about a slide is it has to be long enough to six feet of distance. Uh, which means it has to be high enough to get enough gravity to make the candy slide all the way down. So, gonna gonna take some engineering know-how. Luckily, uh, we have enough Halloween decorations that I could like put spider webs all over it or whatever. <laughs> like it would be that hard. Maybe I just make a slide and then like kick out the. I can just kick out the screen on my windows and have the slide inside, so I can just sit inside and drink and then just throw. Just, just dump a bowl of candy out on the slide whenever kids roll up. Ugh. Oh. Bummer. Oh, that reminds me too. Um, I showed Stephanie, uh, Superstar Mitsuru, and she brought up that maybe I should dress as him for Halloween. Oh, use a shovel. That's a good idea. Is there a punishment to shooting off beat? You lose your combo, and if you if you don't have max combo, uh, or rather, if you do have max combo, you get more coins, more money that you can then use to buy upgrades. So it's like shooting on beat um, gives you more resources, but doesn't necessarily guarantee you victory because you still have to uh, you still have to uh, you still have to. Have the items actually drop. Yeah, Crypt of the Necro Doom, exactly. inventing all kinds of medieval weaponry to deliver candy to children. A ballista a trebuchet. Maybe I just make like a guillotine, right? And I hit, I put the candy on the top and then I pull the slide and the candy drops down right on top of the kids. I do like that that like shine of the treasure chest spawning in is great because it, it gives you a directional indicator exactly to oh, the can't the coin fell out <laughs> where the where the chest spawned which is a really neat idea I'm trying to keep more of an eye out for those shrines I know I've probably been missing a lot of them. Right. Weird that they went with Odin's sneakers. Actually, I guess I don't know who... Because Perseus is the Roman 
messenger Hermes? Or is it Mercury? Which one's the Norse? Is there a Norse runner? Candy nerve gas? Jesus Christ. It is Mercury, right? Okay. Odin's Crocs? Hell yeah. Adidas? Ratatosker? Jeez, so many names. Mercury's Roman Greek equivalent is Hermes. Okay. Uh... Is there, is there a Norse one? Is it Ratatoskr? I don't know. I could Google it. It is Ratatoskr, all right. Oh, he's a messenger and trickster god. Okay. Hermod is the Norse messenger to my knowledge. Ooh. Oh, precision. Wait, is that a head? Oh, it is a head. Okay. I thought it was just a giant rock. The god of precision is a rock. Ah! Getting caught on little bullshits on the wall again. Tosker runs up and down the world tree. Yggdrasil? Oh. I'm taking so much BS little damage. Jeez. Great. A pistol or a pistol? I guess this is a better pistol. Is every gun you can buy better than... Oh, this takes three reloads? Huh. Okay. How far have you made it? Like, well, to the second stage. Um, I guess that's it. The second stage. So, I mean, your actions to be optional or does it just happen? Um, it's optional to a degree. You, uh... I don't think you'll die if you don't do it, but you you can't shoot off beat. It won't let you, and then you lose uh, your combo if you if you miss the beat. Oh, all right. You know what? Sure. Probably should have done. This is yeah. This 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 is not technically a roguelike. It's absolutely a roguelike. I don't think all guns are better than starter guns since different characters have different guns. Ah, all right. Checks out. Stands to reason. Yeah, it's a really cool mechanic, for sure. had a four bullet clip hold on wait a minute let me gotta reload this and there we go the dramatic tension of having to reload before killing somebody all right i don't think there's anything wrong i probably need to do a better job of clearing out these floors i gotta admit i'm not very good at that i'm missing a lot i'm sure oh you finished a run took 50 minutes you got good on your what what makes the game harder? And I hesitate to ask that. Is it just like enemies move faster and shoot more? It seems like you take damage in pretty finite units, so going from 25 to 50 health per hit would definitely make it harder. But that seems like a little excessive. Damn 
Yeah. Man. Okay, I gotta I gotta get better at rec reconning rooms when I walk in. So I'll just run in and start shooting shit and then get hit in the back like three times. More dodge mechanics, lots more creatures per room. Didn't notice the damage increase, but enemies work faster and a lot harder to kill. Okay. I had a maxed out damage gun that shot four times, so it felt a little cheesy. Hey man, that's that's roguelikes. That's that's how you beat them. Uh a win's a win's a win. Doesn't matter. Yeah. What? Uh, I guess they shoot? Man, I didn't even- I did not even see that. If it didn't tell me what killed me, I would have had no, no idea. Oh. Alright, this will be my last run for the night, I think. Um, I gotta go cook dinner. I'm getting really hungry. I think I'm gonna have to- it's one of those, like, I think I'm gonna have to eat half the dinner and save the rest of it. Hey, what's up, good noob? How you doing? Pulling is a little aggressive. You can see like, picks, or you can see polygons flickering on when you turn quickly or jump over something. about the Microsoft news? Yeah, it's been on and off all day, really. I don't have, I don't have enough money regardless. Oh, Galen, thank you for the re thank you for the raid. Uh, Bosnian pal, thank you for the sub. Man. Thank you, Raining Chris. Video games will do that to you. Make you look great. Oh! Almost walked into that one. Can't complain about getting shot after that. I'm just not seeing these shrines. I gotta make more of a point to keep an eye out for them, I think. And that seems really nice. Just double damage? Inge That's it? Okay. Oh, thank you, Gabakaras. Thank you for linking. Alright, yeah, just double damage. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You have double damage. Please. That riff is so good! That's two, two items in a row. Jeez. I gotta keep looking for shrines. I'm getting a lot of coins, but... There we go. Yeah, you can only do one per shrine now. I'll get the revolver. Probably a good idea. I'm 
don't think I, I still can't afford it, actually. I guess I have been spending my money, so screw it. Alright. Look up in that room. Which one? Moving through rooms pretty quickly. You gotta be more specific. And this one? No. Oh yeah, shrines do tend to blend in a little bit. A lot does actually in this game. I can't tell if that's 100% design or not. Fireworks going off is really nice. Midas Asgard. Does that mean lots of gold? Also, Midas is not Norse. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah, every enemy has dropped a coin. Looks like I'm gonna be rich! What's the difference? Hmm. Some of the blocks are solid, some of them have a little border around them. Clippy! Thank you for the big-ass cheer, dude. I appreciate your generosity as always. Thank you very much. Hello, bread for feet. Excellent name. Look up. In this room? Or do you mean the other one? Huh. Ah, alright. Ought to check out the Watermelon Genie videos? Watermelon Genie? I'm getting introduced to a lot of ideas right now. These coins! So rich! Hopefully I'll be able to buy some ridiculous stuff. I'm gonna keep looking up now. The man cuts open a watermelon where he finds a genie and he wishes to have bread feet. Ah. That sounds like pretty pretty classic uh internet YouTube humor. I like it. God! Ah. Stuck on walls.
money. Who let you dash through enemies? That's a good question. Dash is not super long. So I would worry about, I would be scared to do that. I'd, I'd figure that I would just end up inside the enemy. Oh wait, hey, there might be a shrine back here. Is there a shrine? Shrine? Wait, I already looked through that room, Never mind. Eh, uh, whatever. So many coins! So many coins! Where are all these damn shrines at, though? Oh, he got me! Jerk. Yeah, everything is coins. Which means I gotta go buy more health in a second. Coins, 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 coins. There we go. Yeah. Oh, the quest. The sacred book. Take the quest. I guess you have to clear some rooms before you can take the quest. No, oh, this is on easy. Also, Bat Conquer, yes. I am extremely hyped for Series Sam 4 as well. Um, I actually have a review code for that. The streaming embargo is Wednesday at like 9 a.m. Pacific. And I am absolutely going to be streaming it as soon as I can, so... I'm going to be streaming it all day Wednesday, basically. So, I invite you to check it out, unless you want to keep it all a secret for yourself. Keep it a pristine experience, I understand that. I passed a shrine, of course I did. Rawr. Use that book many times. All right. You try the scavengers play test. No, I don't even. I don't even know what that is. Haven't even heard of it. Jeez. I don't know where the shrine I missed is. Was it back in the library? Is that it? No. The room after the quest. This. Oh. All right. Well, let me. Let me go buy health real quick. His name is Huggin. There's a broken face next to the door. All right. On my way. Huggin and Munin? Odin's Ravens? Ah. Oh, no, I. That one's active. Is that the one you're referring to? Oh, this one. Aha. I 
Six, Halo Dev's new PvPvE game, Scavengers. Oh. Huh. Can you reload on R? No, I've already moved it. I moved it to mouse button. Yeah, that was that was messing me up. Huh. In the early days. The early days, like 20 minutes ago. All right. much money yeah the double damage <laughs> really helping out there yeah that is so satisfying right fusion that's like the best styling on a boss thing Vanaheim ah unlocked Freya Ooh. it's like Freya but Australian Freya I don't know Oh yeah, the quest is only just a teensy bit. Oh! No chest? We don't do that anymore? It's funny, we were... The last game was kind of making the point that rock music is not around anymore. And man, this slaps hard, though. We need uh, them crooked vultures to make a new goddamn album. I guess Queens of the Stone Age put one out not too long ago, but still, we need we need your help, guitar players of the world. Maybe we need you now more than ever. I mean, I don't have feats, so I might as well. I got unlimited money, so... Oh, Freya is Freya's brother. Oh, I didn't know that. Freya is a Chad? Dude, Freya is a Chad. Control had some pretty, pretty banging rock music. No feats, yeah. This game is cowardly and does not show feet. God damn it. Ugh. Oh, what was that? That was the Hermod, right, or whatever? Okay. I wonder if 
PS5 will get a Project Diva game? Probably. Huh. God damn it. These bugs fucking suck. Dude! <sighs> Range is so low I can't hit anything. Keep fucking moving around. Assholes. Ugh. Annoying, annoying enemies. Finally get a different gun. Okay, it's a three. Hmm. I have played Hades before, yeah. I'm glad everybody's really catching on how good Hades is. God, this is the worst gun for all these fucking bugs! Why did I pick up that stupid shit, man? Those fucking goddamn dumbass bugs. You need like a like a rifle or something for that. Uh well. Yeah, I haven't read uh, I haven't read the um, Neil Gaiman book on mythology. Everyone recommends it super super highly though. Yeah, those bugs are a pain in the ass without range, man. Uh, unlock a new character though. Cool. Now that's a cool looking video game, dude. Jeez. This just reminds me of like the most extreme 90s games. Cool. Alright, well, man. I want to get back in there. I want to like at least finish a run on easy. Damn, man. I pick up all these games to play. How am I going to beat any of these things? <laughs> No, I haven't, I haven't even watched the new Dune trailer. I mean, whatever. I'll watch it when it's out, but I'm like, I'm not a Dune fan. I don't... I don't know. I don't... I, I like, played the game. Watched the old movie. Between those two, I'm not... I never really found a whole lot to get in, uh, invested in. I, never, I, I think I started to read, read the books, but I was like... This is a little too psychedelic for me. Uh, but that was when I was like a teenager, so... It's possible that... Uh, it's possible I'd like it more as an adult, but like... I like Denis. Um, you're the Doom guy? Yeah, Doom. Dune is different. Dune is just spice and worms and Atreides. Whatever. Arrakis. Desert planet. Oh, whatever. Alright. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That'll do it for me tonight. I'm gonna go cook some burgs. Some borg. French onion burgers. That's what I got on deck. With potato salad. That sounds great. Dune is overrated. I, it wasn't. It wasn't rated at all. Like Dune was just the purview of some dorks who, uh, like Dune and Wheel of Time. Like as far as I know, in nerddom, were like about this and this. And the trailer suddenly has everyone like talking about Dune, like it's an amazing property or something. Ah, uh, who knows? Uh, I I don't mean it's bad. In case you're a like, huge fan of Dune, it just was like it was in that mix with a bunch of other kind of nerd properties that are a little better than most. But I didn't think anyone would care. Uh, but yeah, I will enjoy my burger. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I might dedicate tomorrow to Doom Eternal. Maybe. Fresh up on that. I want to play Final Fantasy XIV as well. Ah, oh, well. I'll figure it out. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.